Hello everyone. Uh, so I'm working on a rather large project and I realized I have a crap load of nav meshing to do, so I figured I might as well make a tutorial about it. There is already a great number, uh, well not a great number, but there's already a, a few nav meshing tutorials out there which are great um, by some really good authors uh, such as uh, Dark Fox. Um, but I figure I, you know, it never hurts to have uh, to have options. Uh, so let's just jump right into it. Um, I already have uh, some work done, uh, so let's go over this. Uh, it works in uh, triangles. Uh, so these little square thingies there, those are the vertices. Um, so I want to make a triangle right here. So Control, left click. Just kidding. Uh, that brings me to this. Uh, these three buttons right here, these three different triangles, uh, control what gets highlighted down here. So uh, the solid triangle has it to where you highlight triangles only. Uh, the triangle with the dots at the corners makes it so that you highlight only the vertices. And the uh, triangle with just the edges makes it so that you highlight only the edges. Now the cool thing is you can have all three active at the same time and uh, the program is uh, rather smart so it um, basically whatever you're uh, your mouse over is what's going to get highlighted. It gets a little um, confused sometimes in uh, packed areas like this. See, I can't, I can't select the triangle. So in a case like that, you know, just deselect those other ones, and you can easily highlight that. Uh, so, anyways, let's keep that there. Okay, so let's make that triangle. Now, uh, I already have nodes down, so control left click, control left click, and then hold control, right click, and boom. Yeah, new triangle. Now, uh, here's another thing we can go over. Uh, so, let's make just a brand new triangle. Control, right click, right click, right click. Whenever you have, whenever you make three nodes, um, it just automatically makes a triangle, which is pretty awesome. Uh, so now, but the way nav meshing works, it all has to be connected. So let's say. I move that there, that's not going to work. The NPC is going to think you're retarded. Um, so if you, you know, you're now meshing in one area and you start from another area for whatever reason, um, you can easily connect those two areas or those two sections um, in a number of different methods. But let's do this. Let's. Select that node and that node, and go up here to the nav mesh menu and hit the merge vertice button right there. And there it is, it's connected. And then, <clears throat> so now let's, uh, oh, and then you can always just move a vertice just, uh, just by selecting it and then holding down the left, left mouse button and uh, moving it. Um, I think nav meshing is pretty easy, um, and the way they have it set up in the creation kit works really well. I, I'm not sure why it has such a bad reputation. Uh, I guess maybe because it's so uh, tedious and uh, kind of just mindless work that um, I don't know. So anyways, so now I want to make a triangle right here, and I already have three nodes, so to make a triangle with uh, pre-existing nodes. 
just highlight it, control, left click, control, left click, and then just without pressing anything else, just hit A. There you go. You got a new triangle. And then one other point to mention is, uh, let's see, I'm just gonna make a, oops, that's not what I want. I'll explain what I'm doing in just a second. Okay. You want to nav mesh around objects. So if I left it like this and went into the game, and I was over here and I want I went to this direction, and if my NPC uh, was trying to follow me, they could potentially get stuck trying to go over here but running into this pillar. And that's because there's nav meshing under it. Um, so you have to nav mesh around objects so just so that like, there's just a nicer flow and that you're not watching your, your NPC run into a wall for 10 minutes. Okay, so now that that's explained, uh, here's another thing. So I want to select those triangles and uh, yeah, I can't really get to them. What you can do is go to these eyeball buttons. The middle one makes everything transparent. And that last one makes it so that you only can only see the nav meshing. So then to delete your triangle or node or edge, you know, depending on what you have highlighted up here, just select it and hit the delete button. And it's that simple. Okay. All right, here's something else we can go over. Um, test it. Test your dab mesh. See if it's working without having <clears throat> to jump into the game. And it's actually really simple. Just go up to your nav mesh bar and highlight that button there. You have to choose an actor. I picked uh, Elder Maxon, and I just that's because uh, the person I learned from, um, that's who they picked. So, and I guess it matters. It matters what NPC you select. All right. <clears throat> so with an actor chosen, just anywhere on your nav mesh, right click, and there will be no indication that anything's happening. And then just go to another spot, right click again, and voila. You get a nice solid uh, green line indicating that your nav mesh is working. And then you can just keep testing it to different direct areas just by right clicking. There we go. So there's that. Uh, let's get out of there. Oh, and uh, I forgot to go over it. The nav mesh button is right here. When you're done nav meshing, just like right click it and the nav mesh click it. So now one last thing I want to cover is preferred padding. It doesn't matter so much in a small interior cell, but if you're making a large world space, an exterior cell, um, you don't necessarily want your NPC to be able to just run wherever, because then it'd be kind of annoying if they just run off. And not really going in the direction that you want them to go. So to prevent that, let's just select our let's have our triangles. Just highlight triangle, holding control. You can select multiple triangles. And then with all those triangles selected, go to your nav mesh bar and hit this button for preferred padding. It makes it yellow and this indicates that 
when you go in game, when you bring an NPC down here, they're going to only travel. They'll still be able to go anywhere else in the area, but the preferred route they'll take is whatever you have highlighted. And that about covers it. That's it. So yeah, and again, nav mesh button right there. Toggle it on. All right, guys, I hope uh, that was informative and not too um, painful. Hopefully my voice doesn't annoy you. If it does, I'm sorry. But at the very least, hopefully you got some solid information. All right, thanks for watching.